Hey everyone, I'm going to Pewter City. We're about to get our first batch. But first, like the video and subscribe to The Gamer to let us know you want more of this kind of content. All right, so instantly there's tiny and huge Pokemon here. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that the lure has something to do with that as well. I, I really wish that there was a way of telling what, what a lure, like how long one lasts for. But uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh. <laughs> now that is some good timing. All right, so enough time for me to make a, a, an ass out of myself. All right, let's move forward a step. Steven, hey, nice. I was hoping we'd run into each other. Yes, I do know that there's a gym leader. So uh, I guess Steven is taking the place of that that uh, person who just kind of like drags you to the Pokemon gym. That's actually not true. I think that person is still like blocking the way to the east. Whoa, thanks, Steven. You're nothing like Gary. Oh man, what a nice guy. You know, I was so prepared to hate him. So prepared. What a nice dude. Thanks, man. If I, <laughs> the next potion's on me. <laughs> That's the only thing that 10-year-olds uh, can legally buy, you know. Wow, he's so supportive. Oh, man. Oh, man, I really like Steven. All right. Okay, so uh, these are uh, classic NPCs. Do you know what I'm doing? You know what? Yes, I do. You're spraying Repel to keep the pests away from your garden. Is that right? <laughs> I should have said no. <laughs> I will say no. No! <laughs> no, that's... That's wrong. Are you the one who does the repel? Yeah, okay. Uh <laughs> oh, man. All right. Just got to keep that in and make me look like an idiot. That's fine. I understand. Go heal our Pokemon. Hey, Nurse Joy. Yeah, it's me again. You did say that you hoped I'd come again, which is a horrible thing to ask when you heal Pokemon from near death. But that's fine, don't worry about it. It's not an issue. Yeah, what do you got here? You got some, a couple people playing on a Switch that, that people... Eh, whatever, everybody's irrelevant in a Pokemon. That's actually not true. You can usually find somebody who wants to trade a Pokemon. Not this early in the game, usually, but uh, that, that it is still something that you find normally. Hey, I'm young. I'm resilient. I'll bounce back. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thanks, Granny. I'm gonna go buy some Pokeballs. I'm actually not. I'm pretty good on them, so. <laughs> and also, like, um, like the last couple of games in the Pokemon series, when you, uh, when you beat a gym leader, you get you unlock more uh, items, which is cool, right? You go from you can you can start buying uh, Great Balls after you beat uh, after you beat Brock, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what a couple of these NPCs have to say. Check out the museum already. No. Okay, I'll go check out the museum. Why not? I'm earned, I, I, I've, I think I've earned a little treat, right? All right, let's go and check this place out. Is it like free museum day like they have in like Montreal or something? Or other places maybe? It's 50 bucks for kids. Whoa. Well, I guess it's gotta be a good museum. All right, vacation time. Wow, what a waste of time. You know, I was here like 20 years ago and I'm starting to remember that it was equally a waste of time back then. Never going there again. Oh, Slowpoke. Oh dear, what am I supposed to do with you, Slowpoke? Oh? Do you think you could do me a favor? Yeah, I'm in a generous mood, why not? I wanna go to the Pewter Museum. I would highly suggest against that, but that's fine. But my dear Slowpoke here is just refusing to budge. Well, I mean, you could just poke, put him in a poke. You could just put him in a Pokeball. Just, 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 just an idea. I mean, it is, it is Pokemon, and and they do tend to go into Pokeballs. Yeah, sure. I'll keep an eye on it. Why not? Sure, I'll keep the 
the lump of pink company. Oh yeah, it doesn't even it doesn't even it doesn't even know I'm oh, wow look at that shading on the building. Wow. <laughs> Slowpoke is staring blankly ahead. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a relaxing time, but sure, alright, why not? Thank you for keeping an eye on Deer Slowpoke. Here, this is for your trouble. Oh, a big pearl? That's worth like 4,000 bucks or something. Dang. Maybe you can keep an eye on Slowpoke again sometime. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna pay me a big pearl? I'll do it again. Oh, fine. I'll just go beat Brock, I guess. Yeah, the stories they say uh, a fairy came from the moon. Yeah, I've been hearing that for 20 years, honey. All right, let's take a look here. Pewter City Pokemon Gym. Gym leader, Brock. The rock solid Pokemon trainer. Let's take a let's take a gander at the uh, first Pokemon gym, shall we? Ooh, look at that! They've turned it into like a viewing area. Oh, that's so cool! I love that design. That is so much cooler than just a regular Pokemon gym. Oh, it's this guy! Oh, please call me Champ in the making. I really, really, really want that to make a comeback. Yes, I am here to challenge the gym. Okay. Well, I'll ask trainers who know type matchup to enter. Okay, all right, I, I can I can dig this. This is it's a pretty normal way. They have to teach you the game, and of course, a gym is an obstacle that a trainer has to get by. So you need to know these things. That's fair. But there are a few types that have an advantage against gym leaders. The gym leaders rock type Pokemon, well, like grass types. Sure. Oh, grass or water type. You have to show me a grass or water type Pokemon if you want to face the gym leader. I don't know how we would have gotten a, a, a water type Pokemon unless unless you can actually uh, trade early on like this. But uh, let's, I mean, Oddish is a grass poison type. Do I have to use Oddish only to fight in this gym? I don't think so. Yeah, aim to become the Pokemon champion. I'm going to do that. Uh, let's. One thing I never understood is these paths that you can see that where you can like skip trainers in gyms. After you beat the gym leader, you can't fight these people again. You'll never be able to get those that, that experience anymore. Fight every person in a gym. Trainers are here are a bit different from those you've faced so far. Somehow, I doubt that. Y'all use Geodudes and stuff. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pound you into the dirt. Much like the uh, ground type that I think Geodude actually is. I think he's ground and rock. Or rock brown, rather. Of course, uh, I can't use uh, any electrical attacks on these because if they are ground types, then they're they're completely immune to it. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, double kick uh, MVP. I'm gonna beat everybody in here with a, with a double kick different from the challengers I've faced. I'm sure I am. Alright, what do you got to say, buddy? Stop right there. <laughs> You're 10,000 light years away from facing Brock. But light years are a measure of distance, not time. Liam. Kick. Of course. Because double kick MVP. Oof, man. One move. You got another Pokemon? Probably not. You're just a gym trainer. You're not the gym leader. Ha! <laughs> Light years isn't time, it measures distance. That's correct. Alright, let's go see Brock. Oh, look at him in all of his glory standing on that tablet. All right, so you're here. I'm Brock, Pewter City's gym leader. You can see just by looking at my Pokemon how rock hard my willpower is. My Pokemon are all rock hard, hard as rock and have true grit. You know, I'm starting to realize that reading this out loud probably wasn't the best sounding thing. I don't like talking about rock hard rock types. Oh, I did it again. Okay, that's enough. All right, just Brock. Yeah, fwa ha ha. Yeah, I'm gonna challenge me, challenge you. Is it? Is that what a trainer? Are we samurai? Is that what that is? I don't... Alright, everybody. 
here is our first gym leader. So, I mean, it's Brock. There's nothing. There's nothing particularly special about this guy. He is the the easiest of them all. <laughs> there's no question about that. I just wish that you know this would be this would follow a little bit in the anime, and he would. Well, it actually doesn't do that much. Ah, two double kicks. Whatever. I kind of wish that Brock and Misty would be your companions for some reason than this. I just feel like it would be a lot more fun. You know, if if this game had more dialogue or something, it would be it would be perfect to see these characters interacting with your character. Of course, then again, you're not Ash, so I guess it doesn't really make sense, does it? Unless I named myself Ash. I did not. On X. Okay, let's see. So these Pokemon are supposed to be like real size, right? So let's see how big Onyx is. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, the camera angle. He makes it look so big. I like it. Yes, I am a fan. I like this game. I'm already a big fan. That wasn't great. Ooh. Poor Pikachu. I feel kind of bad about that. Not that bad. I mean, it did just kick him in the head, apparently. Somehow Pikachu managed to get all the way up there. <laughs> Ow! Stop dropping rocks on me. Bye-bye, Onyx. A hundred and thirty-four experience. That's huge. Yeah, of course I'm level 13 now. CP went up and everything. Because everybody uh, gets a shared experience because you don't have to wait for, for XP share anymore, which honestly, I kind of like. I, I was never really a huge fan of the having to having to train every single Pokemon up from the ground up. It was it was frustrating, especially when there's like later games when you have hundreds of Pokemon. And then at that point, it's not an issue of catching them all. It's an issue of training whichever ones you want. And that kind of takes away from the experience, I find. It feels like it's a little easier to catch them all and kind of enjoy yourself a little more when you can change your team of six and then just go out there and everybody gets shared experience. It's great. I love it. Look at that little side smirk he had. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge. A Boulder badge. Nice. Yeah, five. Okay. With a Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 from other trainers will listen to you without question. Oh, and wait, take this with you too. Of course, you get a TM. And uh, do TMs work like they have recently, where you could just use them as many times, or... Over there, the team can be used as many times as you like. Awesome, good. I'm a huge fan of that. I gotta tell you, when they first uh, when they first started doing that, oh boy, Pokemon uh, or Game Freak and Nintendo really won me over again. <laughs> it deals damage to your poke to your opponent's Pokemon by ramming them uh, with a head as hard as rock. All right. Well, I mean, I, ideally, I would have a rock type Pokemon to do that, but that's fine. That's fine. All right. Are you gonna call me Champ in the Making? Please call me Champ in the Making. Your Pokemon champ and material. Oh, just doesn't sound the same. Oh. Wait, can it be? I see a purple shirt. Hey, you there, newbie. <laughs> it's blue, not Gary Blue. Don't tell me, you gotta be Justin, right? I am, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I'm always right. Blind blue. <laughs> Dabba dee dabba die. <laughs> I heard from my gramps that two new kids set out from Pallet Town to become trainers, just like I did once. Look at that. You see, it means that it means that red and blue did actually do it. That's awesome. I love that. So I came to check you out. I was thinking you might want some advice on how to beat the gym from an expert trainer like me, but it looks like I showed up too late, huh? Seems like you're not too- oh, seems you're not too shabby yourself, so I guess you've earned a reward, newbie. Sweet! Great balls! I was just gonna go and buy some of those, but that's even better. 
Those would be even better for catching Pokemon than plain old Pokeballs. And hey, that thing you got there, that's a Pokedex, right? Yeah, what about it? So Gramps finally went and made one. Oh, interesting, so he didn't make one before this. He used to make me just scribble on a map with a pencil about where I encountered Pokemon. That's amazing. What an evil old man. You better do a good job helping him out. He may be Professor Oak to you, and sure, he's an old coot, but he's still my Gramps. Smell you later, newbie. Awesome. Oh, look at that salute. Oh, so powerful. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, let's go and uh, let's go into the shop and buy a couple more uh, great bottles, shall we? <laughs> All right, fine, Pikachu. I'll shake. Is it here? I think it's here that you get the Aerodactyl and Fossil later on in the game when you get to like Cinnabar and stuff. Okay, so this guy here is a coach. Now you can find these people all around the place, uh, all, all, over the, all over Kanto, and basically they are strong trainers who uh, will, when you, when, you, when you beat them, they'll give you uh, an item or a couple of items or something, right? So it's kind of like a little milestone, I guess. Later on in the game, I think after you beat the Elite Four, there is some post-game content where you fight uh, Master Trainers. And I believe each one of the Master Trainers uh, specializes in a, a, a specific Pokemon. So I think there are like 132 of them, I think. And the rest of them are, are Pokemon that, like are mythical Pokemon or whatever the case is, where you obviously, nobody is gonna get them except for me or you, because you're gonna be playing the game too shortly. Yes, I want to have a battle with this guy. Okay. So I wonder what kind of Pokemon he's going to use. Or Pokemon, plural. Kareem. You know, I knew a Kareem in high school, and he kind of looked like this guy. Bulbasaur! I didn't even notice that. <laughs> All right. Let's do a quick attack. Because electricity, not so good. Fine whip, no. Oh, whoa, I forgot to heal my Pokemon. That's fine, Pikachu will be fine. I'll swap somebody out with him after this. Leech Seed, oh man. All right, new Pokemon. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Pidgey. Pidgey's gonna know a uh, flying type move, surely, which is strong against uh, grass types. <laughs> I love how Pikachu just, like, turns tail and runs back. <laughs> yeah, it's not very effective because this is. Boom! Uh, excuse me. Yeah, that, was a, that was a critical hit. You, you poor Pokemon. And just like that, he's been defeated. Yeah, I am good. I like to think so anyway. Nice, a revive. That, uh, I mean, I, I, I usually don't let my Pokemon get too close to getting knocked out, but uh, I mean, I say this and my Pikachu is <laughs> knocking on death's door here, so I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and save that, uh, save my potions and uh, save the use for a, uh, save the use of a revive. So uh, the, the uh, further parts here where there are grass down below and stuff, you can actually go and find uh, Char Charmander. He is a rare spawn, however, so you need to you need to go and catch a bunch of Pokemon and uh, do a bunch of stuff, you know. Yeah, shorts are cool, I guess. And, uh, and then eventually uh, Charmander will spawn. And honestly, I think I'm going to do that. We'll cut out the whole waiting part on my on my side. Uh, suffice it to say that it'll probably take a little while. I'll give you an idea of how long it took me to do it after I actually catch one. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, super handy to get a fire Pokemon this early on in the game. 
I should probably have gotten a Bulbasaur as well, but honestly, uh, in, in Cerulean City, somebody gives you a Bulbasaur, so. Provided that you have a Pokemon over level 15, maybe, or 16 or something. Yes, Charmander, finally. Oh my God, it's been like a half an hour. I swear to God, if this little runs away. No. 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 <laughs> Dang it. No. <laughs> Oh my god, if if this Charmander runs away, I'm gonna get so angry. <laughs> it like literally has been a half an hour. Come on. Can you give them multiple raspberries? I don't actually oh finally, there we go. I got it. I caught a Charmander. It's been about a half an hour. That's not a great time, but that's fine. It's okay. I have nothing else to do today. <laughs> the flame at the tip of its tail makes a sound as it burns. You can only hear it in quiet places. That's kind of creepy, but all right, cool. Okay, it took uh, like an 11 uh, Sand True catch bonus streak before that Charmander finally showed up. And a couple of Mankeys that ruined everything, but anyway. There's a little item back here. What is this? This is a lure. Oh my God, that would have been so useful. I'm so upset right now, but that's fine. We'll just keep going. We've got, it's him. I'm going to make you eat those shorts. Or not. This is a PG-13 uh, programming, so. Yeah, I am wearing shorts. That's, dang, that's true. Okay, well, it wasn't that long ago for you, but it has been for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that uh, patented double kick. <laughs> oh, quick attack. That's fine. What is that? Like level three? Six. All right. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Okay, here we are. We are near Mount Moon. Let's just grab this, which is a revive. Great. Okay, so we'll grab that. We'll head over to Mount Moon. This guy's just taking a rest. This guy's a coach. Let's go fight him. Yes, I want to train a bit. Yes, I am ready. He asked me if I'm ready after I said yes. <laughs> Oberon. That's a... I gotta admit, that's a pretty badass name, so. Is he Team Rocket in disguise? Nope. You know, because of the because of the meows. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Nice, payday. Oh, that's why you had a Meowth. I get it. I get it. Where are you? Oh, yeah, you. Uh, this guy here looks like he has something good to say or give, but he doesn't. He just says he comes from a long way away, and uh, I think he, he wrote it uh, like a Geodude or no, an Onyx or something. I don't know. Something like that. There's a Jigglypuff there. I'm not going to bother. Actually, maybe I will. Let's go listen and see if Jigglypuff's theme sounds... Theme. Singing sounds the same as it used to. Or... If you actually hear Jigglypuff sing. Let's see.
Well, that's definitely not actual singing, but that's cool. Oh. Pikachu asleep now? <laughs> oh, that's really cute. Oh, can't even play with him because you're not gonna disturb his nap. Oh. All right, without further ado, let's go check out Mount, Mount Moon. Doesn't seem like a Pokeball will do very much while it's in this state. I disagree. I think that actually uh, helps a lot more when it's asleep, but that's fine. We can ignore Pokemon rules. Oh, it's Meowth, that Meowth. I wouldn't really call it eavesdropping if you guys are talking loud enough for me to hear you next to the entrance. Wow, that Meowth is minuscule. That's so cute. <laughs> Okay, bye. Oh, <laughs> they're running after them all. All right, so my uh, my goal for Mount Moon here is to never run into a Zubat. Not once, ever. Never. Oh my god, that was so close right after I said it, too. Oh man. I will get a Geodude, though. Whoa. Why does it tell you this now? It's so strange. I'd like to use Pokeballs. I could have waited. <laughs> but that's fine. Geodude! Commonly found near mountain trails and the like. If you step on them by accident, it gets angry. Another Zubat, that's so close. Oh, tell me that's not, Ah, oh, I thought it was a Graveler. <laughs> Dang, that would have been really cool. And then you can find uh, Onyxes and Clefairies and even, oh, Chansey! No way, this is like, well, I mean, I don't know actually about Pokemon Let's Go, but it used to be such a, such a rare chance of getting a Chansey. That's awesome. Okay, very hard to catch. <laughs> Change to that. A raspberry. Can you use more than one raspberry? I'm gonna use two raspberries and see what happens. Okay. Uh, oh, what? Oh, come on. Oh. I mean, I was hoping for an excellent, but that's fine. Oh boy. Okay. I, like, <laughs> I, I swear I am aiming at the Chansey here. I just, I can't, I can't move the camera. Oh, I can't be. Oh man. Well, I guess that doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, for the moment. Oh, oh, sweet, I caught it, nice, awesome. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Excellent. Whoa, Charmander, dang. Got like three levels up. No, I do not want to learn light screen. That is not worth it, in my opinion. It's actually really not a bad move, especially since it does everything for your entire team, but still. Oh boy, I have to... Alright. Come on. Oh god, leveling up so much is such a drag. Am I right? Yeah, learn Swift. Swift is a great move. Love that move. Uh, instead of Scratch. I mean, I think... Yeah, Swift never misses, right?
Oh. Oh yeah, Chansey. <laughs> I completely forgot I got a Chansey. <laughs> Still creeps me out that it just gives people its eggs. Anyway, I had no idea that I get a chance here, so that's that's kick ass. I probably shouldn't say that. No. Oh my god, that was close. I don't want a zoo bat. This is just the beginning of the amazing adventures of Justin and his Pikachu. Their journey is destined to be packed with non-stop action, millions of laughs, heart-pounding perils, and... Okay, look, someone started playing music super loudly and the microphone picked it all up and it sounds really bad. So basically, I'm gonna give you a rundown of what happened before the music stopped. Don't worry, we still get to see all of Cerulean City. First, got into a fight with a Clefairy that pounded me. We followed Team Rocket. Got a Nugget. Got a Pearl. Finally ran into a Zubat. Appeased the internet by getting the Helix Fossil. Fought against Team Rocket. Badly. And we're back. Okay, sorry about that, folks. Anyway, we're here in Cerulean City where- Oh, uh, Pikachu wants to check out the fountain. Okay, I'm game. I'll toss in, like, uh, what, 500 bucks? Yeah, sure, that sounds like a smart move. Well, at least Pikachu's happy. Oh. All right, so in this Poké Center, you can actually find an Alolan Pokémon. You can trade uh, this lady a Rattata for her Alolan Rattata. Uh, yes. You can see it's the Alolan one by checking out that top right corner. Here is what trading looks like. Oh, reminds me of the 90s. I love it. Ah, oh, look at him. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's creepy. Oh, God, I don't like his mustache. Anyway, it's, uh, well, it's still a Rattata, so I'm never going to use it. <laughs> Okay, so let's uh, let's heal up and face uh, Misty. Okay. Oh wait, no, that uh, that lion tamer looking guy with the with the lollipop. Uh, he teaches your starter a special move. In this case, he'll teach my Pikachu a move called. Uh, yes, uh, Zippy Zap. Oh, I love it. It's a great name. It's a pretty great move, and you'll probably see me use it, well, exclusively at the gym. I'll get rid of uh, Thunder Wave, I guess. There we go, Zippy Zap. Y yeah, sure. Okay, let's uh, let's actually take on Misty now. All right, let's see here. Cerulean City Pokemon Gym, Gym Leader Misty, the Tomboyish mer Mermaid. Oh, mermaid. Yes! Yes! Okay, yes! This, this gym also has viewing platforms. Oh, I love that aesthetic. I'm really glad they put that in there. Oh, he said the thing! Champ in the making! Yeah, I like the sound of that. All right, let's see if uh, this gym has a requirement like Pewter. Ah, a Pokemon of at least level 15. Pfft, easy peasy. You can take a look at my Pikachu. How's that sound, huh? I mean, it's the only Pokemon that you'll see me use in this gym anyway. Yeah, I told you. All right, let's go in here. And, uh, oh. oh, oh, look at that dive. Oof, perfect marks. Uh, 10 out of 10, no splash. Uh, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll just use a, I'll just use a thunder shock here. Never mind, Zippy Zap. We'll wait for that. And down. <laughs> blub blub. 
Wait, that's dangerous. You're in a pool. That's that's not funny. Okay, moving on. Uh, oh. Oh, another diver. Perfect marks again. Just, just great. Uh, honestly, I'm just going to use uh, Thundershock again. I'll, I'll save Zippy Zap for the end. Oh, it's a shelter. I want to get a shelter. Good ice types. Okay. And... Oh, sweet. Oh, no. Ah, oh, this is where Butterfree learns all of the moves. Ah, uh, nah. Nah, no sleeping powder. Sleep, sleep powder, sorry. More useful when you're catching Pokemon, you know? Okay. Oh, and finally... Oof, I'm gonna give that a 9 because of the hesitation. Sorry, lady. No gold medal for you. Alright, what you got? Oh, a seal! Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll use a Zippy Zap here. Seal's a pretty tough, uh, tough Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll use this. Ooh, look at that animation. Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, did you see that? Its health went immediately down to zero. That was incredibly powerful. Wow. Awesome. All right, enough of these scrubs. It's time for Misty. Let's see here. Hi, you're a new face. What's your policy on Pokemon? What's your approach? My policy for battle is an all-out offensive with Water-type Pokemon. I'm with her on this one, honestly, because my choice starter was always Squirtle. I was always a really big fan. Anyway, Misty, the world-famous beauty, is your host. I just felt like I, since you could teach Squirtle's evolution's ice moves, it made it for a better starter than the others. Oh, sorry. My sweet Pokemon are ready. Are you? What kind of question is that? Of course I'm ready. Let's go! Again, I forgot to take the sportswear off of Pikachu. Anyway, here's a zippy zap. See how much damage this one does. Ooh, immediate! So good! Okay, Starmie, it's your turn. Of course, I'm gonna keep my Pikachu out here. All right, have a Zippy Zap, there you go. I mean, it probably won't beat this one in one shot, but, uh, oh, yeah, there you go. So, uh, well, I mean, nothing that uh, a good old Thunder Shock won't fix. Yeah, we use a Thunder Shock. End it with a classic. Yeah, we beat Misty! Yes! Pikachu leveled up to 20, that's awesome. 367 CP, awesome. And... Ooh, Pidgey's level, level 18. Okay, that, that's that's great. That means that I get a uh, Pidgeotto. Let's see, are we gonna see the evolution? Yeah, there we go. Oh man, I can't wait till we get, a, till we get a, a Pidgeot. That was one of my main members of my team way back when I first started playing the game. Such a great Pokemon, it's huge. Imagine soaring through the sky with one. All right, we did it. Yeah. All right, you can have a Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Oops, sorry. 
Oh, we doing this? Yeah. High five. Yeah. Got a Cascade badge from Misty. A uh, Cascade badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 from other trainers listen to you. And you can have my favorite TM. Awesome. Oh, uh, TM29 Scald. Use it, uh, use it on a Pokemon that lives in the water. All right, sure. All right, what's up, Pikachu? Oh, who's a good girl? You're a good girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> I like this. This is fun. All right, let's get out of here. And that's the end of Misty. All right, we're going to end it here today. Next time, we're going to go meet Bill and then head to Vermilion City and take on Lieutenant Surge. Please like the video if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe to The Gamer. See you next time.